Hi guys, how's it going? It's Marky. I got a bunch of new Hot Wheels to show you guys. I finally found this beautiful BMW. This is a car they brought back and it's great to have it back again in the main line. Uh, 1973 BMW 3.0 CSL race car with some great, great, great tampo work or graphics on the side. I love it. This one is also new. Uh, I mean, uh, now new for uh in this color for 2022 and it's from b case of 2022 little tongue tied there sorry about that <laughs> but um here it is let's get him out of the package i just uh opened the side of this package so i can get him out safely and be able to put him back in if i feel like putting him back let's get up close and see those beautiful graphics on the side man that 73 looks so good with that hot wheels name right above or the Hot Wheels badge logo. It looks so cool. I love the black stripe up here and then the red with the outline in white on the edges there. Really, really cool. And we do have that Castro uh, logo right there. A really nice front end with this big spoiler here. And that part is all plastic right there, all plastic. The grill, um, the black grill there is all plastic. The lights are plastic. The die cast is the yellow part right there, coming around the sides. And what a beautiful hood. Look at that. Now, they only had one of these. I found this one at Target. I was really surprised. They only had a few cars left from B case, and this was hanging there. And they had a combination this time of Q case and B case, which was really surprising again because. Uh, that has happened like a few weeks in a row where they bring out a B case and a Q case. I got there late, but look, this is a car that I needed to uh, to pick up. So I got lucky, I guess. Nobody wanted this one. And uh, I got it. There was only one. And I think they come two in the case, so probably somebody did buy one. So pretty cool. Now this car, I feel like it's missing tampo work or graphics up here on the roof and on the back because there's so much going on and then it just looks so unfinished you know big old 73 there on the hood with all those colors it looks amazing got the red with the white and that black in the background it looks so cool so cool really awesome dashboard showing through there and it looks like we have the running boards I mean, the uh, floorboards in red, which is part of the base. And then we do have some black trim here on the sides that you can see right under the door there, black trim. And then the red area back here, and the black seems to be probably attached to that right there. You can see the black right through there, through the wheel well. And it probably is attached to the front, possibly. Oh, maybe not the front. Hey, now when you when you uh, when the light hits it, it looks like a see-through glass right there, like a plastic glass. All right, so probably the dashboard. Then we have the back here and these uh, on the side, probably all connected. And then there you see how it's yellow on this side, black on the over here. It looks like that piece is separate and it's a glass piece. Pretty interesting how they put these together. We see we have a divided windshield in the front. There's something going on there down the middle. And these two things here in the corners look like they would be part of the windshield wipers, but I'm not sure if there's some kind of lock or something. Because it could be that they're locks. Now, I've never seen a 73 BMW in person that I can remember. 1973 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. This one's copyright 2015, so we know this one has been out for a while. The exhaust is showing right here, only on the right side, right there. Two pipes, a little something going on here for detail, a little something going on there. But it's a beautiful BMW. I love the front end there. It looks really cool. I love the hood. The side looks amazing. The back. It looks good, a little plain. Maybe we needed some more colors there, being that the car has so many colors. But uh, really nice, happy to have it. I mean, it's not in perfect shape. There are some defects, but it's the only one 
I've found so far from B case uh, that uh, I didn't have, so had to get it. <laughs> I had to get it. And I also found this one here, the Diora 3. Diora 3 in green, which I did not have. And this one comes from Q case. So they had a mix there of Q case, and then which is the last case for 2021, and then B case, which is the second case for 2022. Strange, stranger things are happening lately in the uh, distribution of Hot Wheels. Let me show you the card real quick, in case you haven't seen this one. It comes with a bicycle in there, and it looks like a surfboard. And I do have some of these, but I don't always pick up all all the Dioras till probably last minute. I kind of pass them up, and then later I'm like, oh man, I don't have this one. <laughs> the Diora 3, a bunch of lightning bolts in silver there on the side, the number one, looking really cool in the red, or kind of like a, yeah, it looks like a red. And Hot Wheels logo in red. The bicycle is silver plastic right there. And what looks like a surfboard, I think. Or a couple of surfboards. Looks like maybe two surfboards. All plastic, black plastic on the sides there. We do have these saw blade looking wheels on this one. Looks pretty cool. I love how they look when they spin. All die cast all the way to the bottom. Very cool. And I have a couple of vintage Diora cars I'm going to show you now. I have a bunch of these in my collection. I just brought out a few of them to show you a few of them to, to show you what the first Diora looks like. There's a Diora 2 and this is the third reincarnation of the car or recreation of the car. The third edition which has been out since 2018. Probably hit the shelves for the first time in 2019. I believe I have that one. I think it's a red one. I think I still have it on the card, which says uh, 2019. I couldn't find it. I looked a little bit, but I didn't want to go through all my cases to find it. So, so it's uh, it's in here somewhere. But this one has a beautiful green color. Here's the top view. Two seats in the front. That bicycle. A couple of uh, surfboards. Here's the base again. Pretty plain on the base. Left side. Front end. Oh, sorry, this is the left side. That's the right side. And this one seems to have a bigger logo, Hot Wheels logo, and much smaller back here because of the opening to get the bicycle out and to probably be able to crawl in there and get your stuff in order. So the guy sits all the way in the front to drive. You can see it's only a half dash. This person is very exposed. <laughs> but uh, pretty cool. So the Diora was out originally with no number next to it, just Diora. And here's one from the Hot Wheels race team, with the number one on it. And it came with the surfboards on the back. The back would be covered up. And it did have like a nice uh, cab or cockpit. This one comes with the Hot Wheels name and a metal grill there, metal base, metal body. So this one's metal on metal. And you see, just plain Diora. That's how it was called. This one is a recreation of the very old one. It says Hot Wheels Vintage. This one came out about 25 years ago, maybe a little more. And this one's 1967 copyright because the Diora is one of the first cars in the first batch of cars that uh, Hot Wheels made for the market. I have one here, a real one from the old days. This is what they used to look like. This one is from the 60s. You can see the surfboards are missing. You can find them, but uh, I don't have any extras. Hot Wheels, Diora. Look at that. Copyright 1967, Mattel Incorporated, and U.S. and foreign patents pending. USA. Wow, that's amazing. An old Hot Wheels for you. And this is the color that they call it. Well, it's red, but they call it Spectra Flame. Uh, Spectra Flame the paint color. It's called Spectra Flame. It's got a little something stuck in there. And uh, I do have one in orange over here, which is also an old one. Also missing the surfboards and 
Keys have definitely been played with. This one has blue tint on the windows. And you can see there's a difference. Or, oh, you know what? This one has a steering wheel there, and this one looks like the whole dashboard has come undone. It's just rolling around, and there are the steering wheels on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know how that happened, but obviously some kids played rough with these. These are not from my childhood. These are just uh, cars that I've found over the years. Collecting and going to flea markets and whatever. Really cool. Now you can see there's a difference here in the front. The way the grill looks and everything. And then the newer version over here looks more like this one. With the black grill in the middle. This one had a red grill. And then the orange one, where to go? There he is. Looks a little different without those louvers on the lights. Pretty cool. So here's a three. And I do have a two. I couldn't find it. I have it somewhere. The Dior 2 is a little more rounded in the front. And on the back, kind of like rounded. And it was a treasure hunt recently in a blue color, kind of similar to this color. I have another blue. This one's a lighter blue color. But it did come with the red lines, red line tires like the old ones. Very similar to the old ones. But this one's also a, a uh, commemorative edition that they made called the Vintage 25 Year Celebration. Some of, sometimes they say 25 and sometimes they just say vintage. And it kind of like mimicking the old style, all metal on metal. This one has black interior, which is kind of kind of cool, a little different than this issue, which had the white, which is from the same year. I should put the old ones over there. But look at that, looks, looks really cool. It does have the Hot Wheels logo on the back, big light bar on the back there, and Hot Wheels logo on this side. Nice surfboards, and you can tell, uh, I mean, look at the difference. This one, the race team, came with two red surfboards, and this one came with a, what looks like an orange and a yellow. More of an orange surfboard, you can see. A little bit, lights make it look different, but it's, it looks orange when I look at it from up here. I do have a really cool Diora in pink. Look at this. Same surfboards as this one, same logo placement. Also black interior, red bar in the back. And this one is also the, uh, the version from the vintage series. Celebrating 25 years of Hot Wheels. And we all know that recently Hot Wheels turned 50. I think this year is like 53 already. So time keeps flying by. It's 53 years now of Hot Wheels. Here is another one in orange, but this one looks a lot like the color of this old one. It's a little different, a little newer, I guess, and uh, more metallic looking. You can see the flakes in there. But it's supposed to be like a commemorative uh, recreation of the old faithful there. Pretty cool. I love that they did these because it was a chance to pick up these or if you find them at uh, like vintage shops or thrift stores, you can find them and uh, pick up one, you know, something that looks like the old ones, which is from 1968. Copyrighted in 67, but issued to the stores in 68, which is really cool. And then I picked up this new Batman Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels with a really cool back card. Look at this. <laughs> I'm calling it the back card. <laughs> Batman classic TV series. And then you have the, the the symbol out in the darkness and the light. You know, the way they call Batman. I forget what they, what they call that thing. <laughs> TV series Batmobile from 1966. Wow, we keep going way back to the 60s. This one's 205 in the series. And they really changed it up. Gave it its own look. Just to uh, change them. And uh, they've issued, you know, Mattel has issued the Batmobile a bunch of times. So each time it looks like they've been changing it up. Some come with tinted blue. Some are see-through like this. This one has red interior. The cannons in red. Sometimes they're black or silver. We do have like all the little details. The front is a little bit 
plain blacked out. We do have the parachutes in the back and the turbo charger right there. Really nice uh, details on there for some new ideas on the Batmobile. We do have the Bat logos on the Bat doors, if I say so myself. We have the Hot Wheels logo back here, and we have some red chrome on these five spokes. Now, the old Batmobile had this symbol right on the, on the tires, on the wheels, I mean. This one doesn't have it like that. And Batman would sit here, and Robin would sit on that side. Once in a while, Robin would get to drive the Batmobile. And the light is just uh, glass. Usually, that comes in red. The siren, or the beacon. What do you call that? The beacon? The light beacon. And they didn't paint anything in the back. Usually, this has like a right, uh, red, a little red in there, and some red outlines up here as well. But a pretty cool take on the Batmobile, new, a new take on it, I should say, giving it new life. And they've done a few different uh, variations of, of the Batmobile. This is the new one that's showing up at Target. Now, I don't know. They might be Target exclusives. And they had all these. I didn't buy them all. I saw them. I bought one more. So I bought this one and this one. I passed on these, but uh, the only one they had left today was this one. The Dark Knight. They sold all of these. I picked up these two. They sold this one and this one. Sold out on the bat plane and the charger. Who knows? They might be putting some out right now. You never know. You never know these people. When they're going to put out... Uh, the, uh, not the people, but the stores. When they're going to put them out. And here's the other one. I bought the Batmobile. A little more modern looking. This one is does say DC just like the other one. And does have the same in the background. But the, the more modern logo with a black and gold. This one has the little face and the old style classic tv series card the card is the same on the back and these do come uh copyrighted 2021 it's cool that they made the bat plane as well you have a few of the bat planes in different combinations black ones red ones and some other ones and check it out this one's a plastic body with a metal base a little different than the usual which is <clears throat> metal on top and then plastic base this one doesn't have a copyright of 2018 made in malaysia trademark and odc oh oh and copyright trademark and copyright dc comics s19 batmobile trademark there's the back end there you go <clears throat> big taller tires in the back they're all kind of like the same width, just a little taller in the back with those big giant five spokes, chrome wheels, nice details on the side here, all sculpted really cool. And all this uh, happening there. Wow, look how small that windshield is. Very cool to protect them from bullets and whatever, and it has the curve there. Bullet hits them there and it'll sling up. Very cool, kind of like the old German pillboxes, right? That's what it reminds me of from World War II, those pillboxes. <clears throat> Where the Germans are, sometimes they call them machine gun nests. They'll have a machine gun sticking out through there. And you can barely see the people. They're very safe in there. Cement stru structures. You see them all the time on the History Channel. Anyways, I did find another Batmobile. <laughs> And this one, I couldn't remember if I had it. So I bought it just in case. I did open it because I looked around. I don't see it here in my collection. Found a few of my Batmobiles, a bunch of them, but I didn't see this one. I have this one with chrome wheels. I know I've seen this one a few times. Uh, this one is marked Q case on the back. So the last case for 2021, not the 2022 version. But I did get one recently with chrome wheels. I know that. This one does have the metal base and plastic body as well. A couple of scratches already, man. Hot Wheels, logo right there in blue. We do have the blue and silver combination going all around. Blue glass right in the front. Tinted blue glass over here. And it's similar to the other one, but this one is a different Batmobile. The other one has double peaks in the back. See that? 
Well, they're from different series. I believe this one is from the WB series, I think. Oh, yeah, it says it right there, the Batman from WB. That's the logo that they had on the, on the cartoon series or animation on, on uh, WB. You can find those probably on YouTube, those episodes. They're really cool. A unique way of drawing Batman and Batgirl and everybody. Penguin, everything. And then this one, I don't know, this one might be from one of the movies? I don't recognize the... Uh, what does it say on the back here? Oh, it doesn't show it on the card. Oh, it's the other card. I'm sorry. Let me see. No, oh, it just says Batmobile. It doesn't tell you what movie. Well, anyways, three different Batmobiles. New, new ones to add to the collection. I have so many Batmobiles. And guess what, guys? I also found this one right here, which I already had found. They only had one, but the one I have has some damage. I didn't remember if this one looked better or not so i bought it just in case they only had one i said well there's not much to buy here i'm gonna buy it because this one came with this damage here and some some little thing here on the hood so i remembered you know about that and i said you know what i'm gonna grab it because i don't remember how bad mine is but i know it had some defects so sometimes i'll do that and uh there it is so now i have two of the bel air the 55 bel air which um is a super i don't have the super this is just a regular issue chevy belair and this one is marked b case just found this one at target unbelievable that they brought out more a couple cases and i missed them but i'm surprised that i found two of the really good good ones and um let's see i also stopped by dollar general and picked up this beauty right here this one they had a bunch of different ones but i bought this one because i always like uh the ones with the hot wheels logo on them and uh, i just sliced it i haven't taken them out but it's time to get them out of the package and i like the trucks that come in 164 scale which would be much bigger than this but these with the hot wheels logo i really like these this one's the mercedes-benz and what is that? AC Actros? I don't know if that's uh, in another language. What is that? I don't remember seeing that ever. Let's see. It says it right there. Mercedes-Benz Actros. Copyright 2020. So this one may, may have been new for last year. Hot Wheels. And I may have seen it. I don't know. I may have seen it. And when I see these with the logo, I like them. But I don't, I don't buy them right away. I get around to buying them eventually. Um, they're a little more money about five dollars i think oh yeah the actual's name right there look right in front this one is pretty cool it has the uh, mirrors on the side the windshield wipers there a nice grill painted in or graphics uh tampoed in there really cool with a big mercedes badge which looks really good looks nice and solid and clean we do have this big bumper area and all these lights in a silver plastic and the base, all this on the side, all that is plastic. The cab is all metal. And then this box back here is all plastic with a metal base. The red area is metal. So all that is metal. And these are the markings on the base again. Once again, Mercedes-Benz Actros, copyright 2020, made in Malaysia for both pieces. And this is really cool. This one reminds me of one of the ones I have that opens up. Let me see if it does it. Could it be that it opens back here? No, I think it opens up. There we go. Just got to put some pressure on it. Can we get a car in there? Hey, let me grab a car here on the side. There we go. This will look good. Black. The Ford. I love this new Ford. Yeah, he fits in there. Wow, that is cool. So if you get this one at Dollar General, you can add your Ford in there. New Ford from uh, B Case. The Ford Sierra. And put him in there, lock him in place. And I think both sides open. 
That looks pretty cool. What a good, <laughs> he kind of like fits in good with this one. Good pick there. Got the black and kind of like reddish color here. That kind of looks pretty similar to the colors the Ford has. This is one that I picked up not long ago. The 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth. This is a new one for this year, 2022. A new issue. I probably showed this one already. I mean, I know I showed it. But if you hadn't seen it, just give you a really quick look. It's a beautiful car and really nice graphics on it. Now these trucks here are so cool. I have an, a few that I have bought that come out with the Hot Wheels logos. Here's one. This is the other one I was telling you that opens up to the sides instead of the back. You, you can uh, just open it like this. So this one I've had for a while. I think I bought this one maybe one or two years ago. And this is another of the new cars that uh, just came recolored for uh, 2022. And this one is from B Case, I think, from what I remember. Tall wheels in the back, and it kind of looks good with this one. He fits in there. <laughs> and this one looks like one of those X Racers that are all see through, the X Racers. I can't remember if it's part of the X Racers series or anything like that. I don't think so. But the markings on this one, or the name on this uh, vehicle, is a uh, Speed Hauler, copyright 2012. So this one's been out for a long time. 2012 and yeah both sides open up you can open this side or that side there you go oops so pretty cool moving moving parts that you can open up stick a car in there if you want to pretty neat i have another truck that i bought also because it has a nice hot wheels logo i love the the boxes with the uh hot wheels logo on them and that's why I bought this one. This one does have the opening back in here. And you can probably stick a car in there. Let's see if this will fit. I don't think. No, it's too big. I don't know. Skinny enough. Maybe this one. Skinny enough car, skinny enough car that will fit. <laughs> ah, the engine doesn't fit. <laughs> maybe this one right here. Let's see. Hey, you almost made it. The back wheels don't fit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm sure you, you, you can find something that'll fit in there. But this one, I only bought it because I really love the box like that with the uh, logo. And uh, I used to put my camera on here and somehow put some rubber bands around it and run it down the track to make some videos. So that's what I was using this one for too. And that may have been the reason that I really picked this one up was because I needed something that rolled down the track with a camera. Then later I found the GoPro um, little uh, Hot Wheels that they sell at the stores. Come, sometimes it comes out in different colors, green, red. I got one of those. I got a couple, a bunch of those actually, GoPro cars so I can put my GoPro on there. Malaysia 2012 for this one. This one's called the Holland Heat. Metal on this side, and this one is, oh, this one is metal. Both sides are metal. That's cool. Oh, because the cab is all plastic. So they both have metal base, both, both parts. Hot wheels, and we have all the lightning bolts. Real realistic looking electricity or lightning. Maybe it's just like an electric spark going on there top view white wheels on this one this one reminds me of another hot wheels that i have <laughs> right here the ice cream truck it's funny because i took this one out i was showing the uh, ice cream truck the other day in one of my shorts and i was trying to look the other day trying to compare them look at that this is a much older one and here's the one of the newer ones pretty similar Different wheels, different colors. They added some stuff on top. Let's see how the back end looks. Ah, yeah. Pretty close. A little different. Two windows on the back of that one. Only one on this one. And this one does 
you can see through. This one is more like vents, I think. Or it looks like vents. Maybe it's maybe supposed to be windows. I don't know. But this one is metal all on top. Plastic on the bottom. This one's plastic on top. Metal on the bottom. So they reversed the way they make it. But pretty cool um, how they've done that. And I do have the uh, Happy New Year one or the New Year's New Year's uh, 2021. So this one's already a year old. The New Year's truck. It's pretty cool. And I have this one here. Ice cream truck in blue. The model, they call it now the Quick Bite. And there it says Quick Bite. Let's see, is it called Quick Bite? Nope, it used to be called, or well, they're kind of like different. They're not exactly the same. The Good good Humor Truck, copyright 1983 on this one. And this one is copyrighted 2017, 2018. So pretty cool. Oh yeah, look, they're different there too. Well, they totally recasted the top, excuse me, they recasted the whole top, the whole body to have it in plastic and the metal. The middle molds probably not used only maybe for premiums. I don't know if they're gonna bring it back as a premium. Or have they lately? I don't know. Let me know. I don't I don't have any other metal ones, I don't think, that I remember. And <laughs> now I'll look around and oh yeah, I do have one. I forget. I forget guys. <laughs> but it's uh so cool. So cool. The ice cream truck, the New Year's Eve truck. What does this one sell? Does he say? Oh, I guess he's just selling fireworks. Maybe he's just playing music. I don't know. It looks like he's just selling maybe champagne. He's got a ice cream bar in his hand. <laughs> Celebrate, midnight party, cheers, firework, fireworks, music, HW for Hot Wheels, countdown, hooray, New Year's, 2021. Different, uh, different tampos. Very cool. So I have all these really cool trucks here. And the new one right here. Man, this was this was fun going through all the, these uh, some of the old cars I have. Checking out the old Dioras, and I'm loving my new BMW, the '73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. I'm loving that one, it's so awesome. All right, guys, got some new Batmobiles. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Don't forget to like this video. If you want to share it in your on your social media, let people know you watch this channel. If you want to share it with somebody, let them know. Come my way and check out some of my videos. I have over 700 videos of die-cast cars. Just go to my page, click the videos tab, and you can find them. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you had a good time. I sure did. I'll see you guys in the next one.